Hey guys. Hi guys, wanted to do this quick video. We're gonna go ahead and do a makeup look. I just wanted to get a little bit um, dolled up. Um, I haven't worn any makeup in <laughs> I don't know how long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull my hair back here. And wanted to get my hair out of my face. I know it's going to look a little crazy. This is what I usually look like most days because I haven't dyed my hair and it's hot. And so I just put my hair back. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start with this um, foundation. And hopefully we'll look a little bit better in a little while. So this is the Maybelline foundation. You guys know how much I love this foundation. This is in the color 122. And I barely have any of this left. I need to actually purchase some more. So I'm going to put some here on the back of my hand. Like I always do. So that should be enough. And this is what the color looks like. Okay. And that is usually a perfect match for me. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Maybelline concealer. You guys know how much I like this one. This is in the color Bite. And this one I just go ahead and put down here. I'm not sure if this is the medium. I think this is the medium one. I'm not really sure if it's the light because I know I have a lighter one. So this is what I have right now. I do need to purchase um, the lighter one. I think this is the lighter one. This is the medium one, and this is the lighter one. I'm already running out of the light one. So I went ahead and put on that one, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on around. And I didn't put a primer. I don't use primer, guys, because I break out very easily with primer. So I just go straight for it, or I just use moisturizer. But today, I didn't put any moisturizer on, so I'm just doing it just like that. Okay, so I'm going to use my magnified mirror here just to see everything go on. And this is what the magnified mirror looks like. You can find it anywhere, Walmart, um, downtown, uh, Target, Walgreens. It's really good to have because you get to, you know, do your eyebrows really well or pluck or whatever. Okay. So... Just gonna see how instantly it changed my whole complexion there. Just I need to pick I need to pick myself up a little bit. The gray hair is really not letting me look young and it's driving me crazy and I'm really really trying so maybe doing my makeup is gonna help me feel a little bit better so that's why I thought I would do a makeup look <clears throat> okay so this is what the makeup the foundation looks like I've been having pretty good skin days haven't broken out so that's good it's like the only thing that's going good right now. Okay. So there's that. Now I have uh, this other concealer, which is from Milani. Now this one I'm going to go ahead and put on the lid because this one's a little bit thicker than the Maybelline one. You guys have heard me say this a million times. This one's a little bit better for under eye. doesn't crease or anything, so that one's good. But this one's thicker for eyeshadows. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one here to have my eyeshadow stick to something. Now this one is thicker. You don't want to put this all over your face because then you might break out. If you're as sensitive as I am, it might make you break out. It's too thick. And you're going to see right now it's going to cancel all the discoloration from the lid area. So you can see that it looks better than with the Maybelline. You don't want to put the Maybelline, it's too thin. You need 
We need something thicker. So there's that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and use my little brow pencil here from e.l.f. This one, you can get it at Walmart or Target, HB. They're usually about $2. I usually get these like free with my Shop Kicks. It's like a Shop Kick app. I've already told you guys about that. That's a way to get free gift cards just by walking in to the store. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick because that just kind of helps with the whole look. So <clears throat> when you first buy this, it has a really fine tip. But since it's already almost... Um, like towards the middle it starts losing its shape that's the only downside to this I don't know how the Anastasia one is but that's how this one is I've never used the Anastasia one because I like this one I think it's fine I know it's two dollars but it works fine for me and it's pretty simple so it already gave a shape there I don't know how it's going to look when my whole gray hair comes in. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing them darker or have to find a lighter brow pencil or something because I don't want to look too crazy. But for now, since I still have some of the black in my hair, I'm still using this. This is like a dark brown. It's not even a, it's not a black. So I'm just following the shape here, like that. Hold on guys, let me see both eyebrows. Like that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and comb them through. And just go up and to the side. And then the lines disappear. like that. I'm going to do this one. Go up. And then to the side. Just comb them through. Just go over this one one more time. Make sure I get everything. I haven't done my makeup in a while, guys, so I'm hoping it's going to come out good because when you don't practice, <laughs> that's what happened to me today with breakfast. I was making eggs, and my eggs always come out pretty good. And today I was just not, I haven't been cooking in a while because I've been sick, so I just, I never plan these videos. I just, let me just do it. Okay, so we have these two eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Natural Nudes. This one's from Too Faced. And then I have this one, which is the Amrezy. I haven't used this one very much, but I took it out just in case. So let me go ahead and look at these. I've been really sticking to this. This is basically what's always in my purse because um, I usually use it for church, and this is like pretty neutral. It's like an everyday look thing so I, this is what I carry in my purse all the time and this one's more like a pop of color which is really really pretty it has all of these colors right here obviously I'm not going to do anything like that that'd be a little too much for me right now because I'm a little sick but um I took it out because I do like this maroon right here so we might incorporate that I like to match my outfit with um, my eyeshadows. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but I like to do it. So, I have a lot of, hold on guys. I have a lot of, um, like peach and some blue-green and some pinks. So, <clears throat> I think the transition shade we're going to get from this one because it's just, um, a really, it's like a better palette for transition shade so this is what it looks like so I'm thinking we're gonna go with um, this one for a transition shade right here this like lighter mauvey pinky color so we're gonna go ahead and do that and use one of the Anastasia brushes 
So we're going to go ahead and take that and put some and tap it off like that. And we're going to go ahead and apply it. You got to go in there and just kind of just rub off. I have to go in there and take off all the creasing there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and apply that there. Hopefully it comes out good, guys. I like to watch makeup videos, so that's why sometimes I do them. I have to put on my makeup anyway, so why not just do a video, right? So... This is what the transition shade looks like. It's a very, very pretty color. It's really appropriate for every day and for church looks. And just everyday looks. So I think we're doing good. That's what that looks like. and okay there's that transition shade so that's what it looks like <clears throat> now we're going to go to this palette which is the amrezy palette right here okay we're going to go into i want to put a little bit of sparkle hmm let's see let me check this one out Look at this color right here. It's like a purpley, pinky color. That one's really pretty. And I also like this one right here. But that one doesn't show up as much. I've already tried that one before. So that one's more like a topper. Um, let's see. Let's see. Maybe like a hot pink. That would be cool too. I haven't done like a pink look in a while. So maybe I will put that hot pink and maybe this one either in the corner or like in the center right there. Let's try it out and see how it comes out. You know, I've never done a hot pink look on here for you. I don't think I have. If I have, I'm sorry, but you know. Okay, so this is what the hot pink one looks like. It's really, really bright. So we're going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. And it's really bright. And I just want something to pick me up, so this, why not, right? <laughs> okay, so there's that pink. We're going bold. Let's see what hubby thinks when he comes home. Okay, so there's that pink. Looks really pretty. Now we're going to go ahead and probably take this maroon shade because I really like it. And then I'll try to incorporate that purpley color somehow, either in the corner or we'll see. We'll see. Let's just play with it and see what we get. So I'm going to take this brush right here and we're going to go into that like burgundy shade. And hopefully it works out. Okay. So we're going to focus here on the corner. And it's just going to deepen it up a little bit. Like that. And then we're going to do this side now. Some more. We'll just go back and forth. Like that. We're going to go back to the other side. A 
like that. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and incorporate that purpley shade because I really like this one. I want to go ahead and put it in somehow. I know I don't have a lot of purple here, but I just, I want to try it. So let me see how this looks. And hopefully I don't mess it up. We're going to go ahead and put it here in the center and see what it does. Just kind of added a little something there. Like that. I like the way that looks. And then I'm going to get another brush and I'm going to go in with a darker shade. Maybe like a darker, let me see, let me try a different brown. The one in the Amrezy palette looks like it's got a little bit of a purplish to it. And this one's just straight up brown on this palette, on the Nudes palette. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one. I know it's a little bit dark, but I kind of like this one. It's like a dark brown with a little bit of a purplish tone to it. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of that. And we're going to put it right on the crease and on the outer part right here. Oh my guys. Let's see how this is going to come out. Just right here. Like that. We're going to tap off the excess before we apply it. Like that. And do a little bit more. I really like that. So we're going to put some more right here. Like that. And do some more on this side. Okay, like that. And because I want to add a little bit more of some warmth in there, I like this these two colors right here. I know it's going to look a little weird because I have pink going on, but I want to incorporate some of that. So I'm going to take that a little bit higher and hopefully it looks good. Okay, so let me see. Let me clean off this brush a little bit. Hopefully it'll look pretty. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this one the one right in the middle and we're going to add some of that brown at the top and hopefully we don't mess up the look very 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 lightly what do you guys think you think it goes Oh, I think I added too much on that one. Hold on, guys. That's okay. Just going to clean off the brush a little bit. And then just take off some of that one. See how a little bit too much came off on the brush? So I'm just going to blend it a little bit more. And it'll be fine. I'm just going to go ahead and blend inward. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, like that. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and take this wedge right here and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the bottom part right here like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean on clean up this side right here like that and I'm gonna blend this purple a little bit more because it looks 
like it needs to be a little bit more blended. So let me go ahead and take some of that transition shade that we first started with at the very beginning and we're going to blend a little bit more. I'm going to take it from the nudes palette and we're going to blend right here. Blend this side. And just blend, 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 blend. Just going to be blending more. Okay, like that. Take this brush right here and blend the top part a little bit more. We don't want any lines. I'm going to take this right here that I got like at uh, Amazon. It was really, really cheap. It's just to groom underneath the brows. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to go ahead and groom under here. Just make sure I take off all the little hairs. Make sure I get everything. And this one's really, really quick. Just cleans up really, really fast. Like that. Okay. Hold on. So you guys can get a little feel for what it's going to look like. I know the other way it looks a little crazy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on. I'm going to go ahead and use this one from Avon. I haven't worn mascara in a while. Makes it look a little bit better. Get the bottom lashes. Like this. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and put um, some eyeshadow underneath. But that, that's looking a little bit better, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this Avon blush right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some on my little sponge that I applied my foundation with. And this is what the color looks like. It's pretty. It's called Nude. And we're going to go ahead and add this to the cheeks. I like using the cream because it gives a little bit of a glow instead of it being so matte. Especially with aging skin, you want it to be a little bit more glowy. You don't want it to be so matte. But if you did want to wear something matte, I did bring another... blush. I brought another blush guys. I got this one. This is from MAC. I really haven't used it but this is what it looks like. This one is in the color um hold on is it Miracle, Bl Miracle Blush? That's what it looks like. That's what it sounds like. Um we're going to go ahead and put some on here with a brush and just really lightly because I don't know how dark it's going to be. Like 
like that. And I also brought this one right here. This is like um, like a bronzer, okay? And I'm gonna put some of that like all over my face. Like that. And I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadows right now probably put a dark color underneath the eyes just because I want to give it something to pop and then I want to put some of this little sparkly this is what it looks like eyeshadow and we're gonna top it right there at the top just because I want to try a little sparkle on there like that I like it I think it's pretty and I do need to put a highlight right in the center right here so I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there I'm gonna use this one from the nudes palette and I'm gonna use this one right here because it's got a little bit of shimmer to it and it's got a little bit of gold to it as well it right here like that and then we're gonna put some eyeshadow underneath here and we're gonna go ahead and take like a dark shade we're gonna go ahead and put that dark brown that we first put on the crease we're gonna put some down here put some on the other side like that and just smoke it out a little bit What do you guys think so far? Does it look pretty? Makes me look younger, right? <laughs> I need to be doing my makeup more. <laughs> okay, so let me see. What kind of lipstick do we have? I have this one. This is from Milani. This is in the color, what's well, it's number 74. It's called Matte Darling. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. It's like a pinky shade. It's a really pretty shade. I'll show you. I guess we're doing a lot of pink today. It's a pretty shade, right? Like this. Like that. And I also have this one right here. This is from Wet n Wild. And this one is more of a matte. And I just want to give it a little bit more um, pinkiness to it. This is a little bit more matte though. So you're going to wear a mask. These are good. Because it won't move your lipstick. So there's that. And I'm just going to go back with the same brush and I'm going to use a bronzer that I have on here this is going to be more for contouring this is from elf and we're going to go ahead and go in there to contour the face a little I haven't contoured in a while
I'm gonna put some over here. Take off some of that. Okay, guys. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I like how it turned out. <sighs> Makes me feel good. <laughs> Makes me feel better. So, anyway, guys, this is a shirt I haven't been able to wear because I wasn't fitting into it. And it fits now. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, congratulate me on <laughs> losing 22 pounds. I wish I could, you know, lose more, but it's going to take me a little bit more time. But anyway, I wanted to do this quick little makeup look. I was going to get dressed anyway. And, um, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little makeup look. I like it. Um, it's a little bit bold for gray hair, but... I'm going to be one of those um, older ladies with a bunch of makeup on, so I think I can pull it off. I think I can pull off the, the bold look, <laughs> even with my gray hair. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.